Alright, what is up everyone guys? It is Tyler Homo and I am back with a brand new video today. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to be naming off five really cool and haunted abandoned locations in the state of Connecticut. All the places that I will be naming aren't demolished and these are all abandoned places that are still standing. In my Massachusetts video, there was one location that I made a mistake on. One of those locations, I can't remember, I think it was the Westboro State Hospital. That one is not standing anymore. But anyways guys, just make sure to smash the like button on my video, smash the like button on this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. I'm trying to get to 300 and past 300 subscribers pretty soon. But yeah guys, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get straight into it. Five band Alright guys, so here we go, number five on the list. Number five is called the Seaside Sanatorium. This is an abandoned, this is a hospital. But this place was built and established in 1934 and it was abandoned in the 1990s. There's no exact date. But this place, it was an old hospital for children with tuberculosis. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Shoot. I'll put the word on the screen. I, I literally was able to pronounce it the other day. I forgot how to. But guys, throughout the history of this hospital, this hospital was transformed multiple times to treat elders and disabled people. And in the 1990s, lots of news came out that patients were being like really violently abused here and then another crazy fact is that years after abuse started in the 1990s a higher percent of patients were being found dead and dying but yeah guys this seems like a very crazy hospital that is now abandoned patients were treated really bad here and it has some dark history um, there's not much about this place being haunted, but I'm sure it is from all the people that have died here. I just didn't get deep into the haunted history about this place. But yeah, guys, let's move on to number four on the list here. Number four is called the Fairfield Hills Hospital. This place was built and established in the 1930s, and it was abandoned in 1995. And there's a lot of history on this place. This hospital, so it treated mentally ill patients like pretty much all the hospitals around. And this hospital has a lot of dark and disturbing history to it. There's been many stories told by patients how much cruel abuse took place in this hospital. And explorers say this hospital has been said to have a lot of paranormal activity go on like during, you know, after it was abandoned. These explorers explored it. And some of the buildings on the campus have been renovated. But many, there are a few that still stand abandoned and haunted today, which is good. So you could still go explore some of them, but some of them are being renovated. All right, guys, so number three on the list. Number three is another abandoned hospital. This place is called Cedar Crest Hospital. And this place was built and established in 1910. And it was abandoned not too long ago, just 10 years ago. It was abandoned in the year of 2010 in the 2000s. So the history of this hospital was again, it treated many mentally ill patients. And this hospital is said to be very haunted from explorers that have been there. And there have been lots of reports of explorers coming here when it's abandoned to explore. And they've heard screams, people crying and like doors slamming. But yeah guys, this is definitely a creepy hospital from the pictures that I have up here on the screen. This place is really creepy and I can't believe that it was open for that long, literally 100 years. It was open and it was abandoned just in 2010. All right guys, moving on to number two. Number two, it's finally not a hospital. This is the only abandoned place on this list of five locations that is not a hospital. This place is called the Hearthstone Castle. Um, this place was built and established in 1899 and it was abandoned in 1985. The history on this place is that a New York photographer built this castle for like a summer retreat for like kids I'm assuming to come for like a summer retreat camp or whatever and this castle was actually sold multiple times throughout its years of being opened and then in 2008 multiple teenagers were arrested for badly vandalizing the abandoned castle and as of today you're legally allowed to visit this abandoned location without any problem it's like surrounded in the woods somewhere so you probably have to get specific directions but this place you are able to visit it. All right guys, moving on to the final one on this list, number one. Number one is called the Mansfield Training School. So this place is like a big campus with like school, a school and hospital. 
and there's many, many buildings on the property. And this place was built in 1860, and it was abandoned in 1993. And like all the other abandoned hospitals on this list, this kind of has like similar history. So, you know, it held many patients with mental disorders and they were said to be, you know, very cruel um, abuse and the conditions were really bad in this hospital. And guys, in all, there were a whole bunch of lawsuits against the hospital, how the patients were treated here. Like people had lawsuits on this place because how bad and cruel the patients were treated at this hospital and this hospital is said to be pretty haunted. But yeah guys, that basically wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Five abandoned really cool locations in Connecticut. Some of these places I really do wanna to go to in the, few, in the near future, especially because all five locations are still standing today. But yeah guys, I hope you're enjoying this series of videos. By the way, I do have many exploration videos planned in the future. I actually filmed half of a video. I never got to finish because hard to explain guys but just know i wasn't able to film like the main part of this place but i'm going back so i already have half of the video filmed and i'm going to be going back in the very near future because i really want to explore this place i'm not going to be saying what it is yet it's a surprise so yeah guys just stay tuned watch out for those awesome exploration videos that are be coming out but i'm going to be posting exploration videos and these type of videos on this channel and guys i was actually thinking about starting to do like pranks and stuff like ding dong ditching and stuff at walmart i'm not positive that i'm gonna go 100 percent through it so guys what i'm saying basically is i might throw in a mix of a bunch of different types of videos on this channel yeah guys make sure to also leave comments on this video if you know of any more abandoned locations in the state of connecticut and yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video smash the hell out of the like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time